technical coding interview so we'll be solving this question within the allotted time 10 minutes so the question says how many numbers are smaller than the current number so given the array nums for each nums so i find that how many numbers in the array are smaller than eight that is for each num i, you have to count the number of valid j's, so that j not equal to i and num of j is less than num of i, return the answer in the array. So let's see that. So this is the nums 8, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. So the output is this, and the explanation is for num 0 cross to 8, there is this four smaller numbers than 8. Okay, one, two, 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 three. Okay, so there are four here. For one, there's not really any smaller number than eight, so it could be to the left or to the right. Okay, observe. For two, there is this one smaller number than eight, that is one, which is before it. Again, two. Okay. And three, there is this three smaller number, which is one and two and two. So we are counting it, the double ones, one, two, two. Okay, that makes sense. So let's see the six. Smaller number is five and four, two, five. Smaller number is four, so it gives us one. Uh, four, no smaller number, uh, and uh, eight, smaller number six, five, four. And here there are no smaller numbers. So the length of our nums could be from at least two. So that means we must have at least two values there. So we don't have to worry about empty array maximum is 500 and the values in the array will start from 0 up to 100 well interesting question so given the array noun for each num i find out how many numbers in the array is as small as in the entire than each so And j is not equal to i, and the value of j is that's a number. Hmm. So how can we do this? One way we want to think about it is: can we go? If we pick the first value, then we have to go over the entire array again, and make sure we don't go over the same index. And if the value is less than the current value we increment a counter and at the end of that for loop we had the counter to a result so that's going to take us big go in n square because we start from here we go over everything all over again n square can we do better that n square to tell you what we can do better than s square what about if we sort the array first sorting will take us big of n log n so let's say we sort the array for instance using that so this will be one Two, two, three, eight. So, but we're going to run into a problem because we have to return the count back to the same position. So it will be difficult for us to track the position. So this will not be a feasible method. I don't think I can think of any other method now that can be less than big of n square. I 
can't think of any other method. So let's implement that if another method shows up, we can try that too. First, I like also always to store the length of my array in a fixed value since we'll be iterating it multiple times. Then we want to say, uh, define our result. So our result, we want to define a list for that, an empty list. And we want to run to our array in range of the size then we want to run it again j in range of the size again and what we want to do is that we want to ensure that if i is not equals to j then we want to now uh, we want to do a count if I equals now equals to j then we want to check if uh, norms of j okay so if norms of j is less than norms of pi then we want to increment a counter so that would be a temporary counter. This is a temporary count plus equals to one. So that means for every new one, we must reinitialize the temporary counter to every new uh, values. Uh, now, so it shouldn't be here. It's for every new values, we must initialize that. So it should be here. So at the end of a particular uh, value, we want to append our result with the temp. And at the end, we want to return result. Okay. So this is going to be big of n square and uh, this space complexity will be big of n. So space is big of n time will be big of n square. Hmm. So let's run to our result and see our code and see what we've done. So we're dry running our code now. So the size here is five. So the size here is five. And what we want to do, so our i is equals to zero here. Temp is zero. Okay, so our j is equal to zero. So if i not equals to j, in this case, zero is equal to zero. So what we want to do is we want to, this is going to jump. So our j becomes one. Then of course, zero is not equal to one. Then we want to check our norms of j. That's norms of one. If it is less than norms of zero. So this will mean norms of high, uh, that's norms of one is one. And norms of zero is eight. So this is less, okay, because of that, our temp will be incremented to one. Then our J becomes two, 
and this is satisfied then this becomes nums of j which is 2 so the value there is 0, 1, 2 is 2 less than 8 it is so this increment and we take the third one this is nums of 3 the next is 2 again yes so this becomes 3 and this becomes 4 and this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 so this is 4 this is 3 and this becomes 4 then we are done with that then we are penned into our result 4 then by the time we are picking so our high becomes 1 our temps becomes 0 our j becomes 0 again then we check it is not then our nums of j is 0 nums of 0 nums of high is 1 so we check nums of 0 is 8 and nums of high uh, 1 it's uh, 1 uh -huh. so we see that 8 is not less so we skip that okay and that's, that makes some sense. So we continue like that. That seems to make sense. So let's try and run and see what we have. Okay, that works. So let's see some more examples. Okay, that works too. Let's see some more examples. Okay, that works. So let's see everything. Okay, that's good. Can we do better? Is there a way we can do better that big? the time complexity of big of n square since we still have some more time is it possible i just can't think how because we know for sure that our space complexity must be big of n because we need to pick the first number and check everything I just can't think of how we can have anything less than big of n square alright guys thank you for watching and see you in the next one